Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wisant, answering the question submitted by a student. Um, this is a nice, easy one, and uh, I think my my general advice to any student, if you have a word problem and it's about geometry or trigonometry, uh, draw a diagram. So let's start with our diagram. I'm just going to draw a right triangle here. Remember that Sokotoa only works in right triangles. And we're told that angle A, the hypotenuse, is 8 and the adjacent is 7. So what we're going to do, we'll call this X. Uh, we'll find X by Pythagorean theorem, so 7 squared plus x squared equals 8 squared, and then solve x squared is going to be 64 minus 49, which is 15. So this x is going to be the square root of 15. I think that was giving the students some trouble. And now, for the rest of it, we'll just use Sokotoa. I'm going to write out Sokotoa in red because this is something that you should memorize. And that's the sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And toa, to tangent, is opposite over adjacent. So now we can fill these in. So sine of angle A is opposite over hypotenuse. So it's going to be root. 15 over 8. Cosine of angle A is adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's 7 over 8. And the tangent of angle A equals opposite over adjacent, so that's root 15 over 7. And that's it. Oh, they're not asking for the opposite angle, but we could find it if you're allowed to use a calculator. If you're not allowed to use a calculator, that's fine. Um, and that's it, though. I think we'll leave it without the calculator for now. We're not really asked to find this angle, but we'd have to take the the inverse sine or cosine or tangent of A to find, how, to find out how big A is, and then we could subtract that from 90 degrees to find the measure of angle B. But I don't think that's necessary here. So just remember your Sokotoa and Pythagorean theorem, and that's all you really need for this problem. I hope that was helpful, and I'll look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye.